what's going on you guys welcome back to some more man of Medan here today we are currently on part two hopefully you guys did enjoy yesterday's video this game I was kind of lost at first but this is where we left off in the intro of the game so let's see where this will take us right, here we go another counselor guy hello how you doing welcome to my repository This game likes to add some weird stuff, man. I like that. Did you say repository? I don't even know what a repository is. There's his I'm office. The curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate. Greed and beauty. Life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. Snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for it's having It's the one lived, thing you're promised in life is death, honestly. Eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon. Do of course it. not. Of course not. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. Listen, I like Dr. Hill better. I'll be a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Okay. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Man, I don't want to I don't want to get anybody killed, man. I'm gonna try my best to make sure everybody survives. However, that is, I really don't know. But um, okay. There's a boat. On a picture frame. Was this say the Mil Milan? See, now I played this part in the demo, so I know what this part is about. So, Brad, witty, Alex's brother, innocent. Oh, the nerd, huh? The Duke of Milan. The motivated Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's bro uh, boyfriend. Insecure. Mmm, cold brew. Enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Oh, that's enough beer, for sure. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh... Yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Say nothing insecure. It's embarrassing, resentful. I had to work. I had to work. I wanted to. I just didn't I didn't have time. You know, I had to work all summer. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. That's what I say, too. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Little bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? They don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. All right, so say nothing. Uh, Accusa, sorry. Whatever that says, it uneasy. Not good with people. I was invited. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. I wanted her to see how cool you are. Because he's the brains not. of the operation, so cool. that's why. Capiche? Mm -hmm. Alright, amigo. 
Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Oh, uh, cynical. It's been a whole... It's been two weeks. Must be tough. Well, let's be empathetic for him. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? He's our brother. We gotta be there for him when he needs yep. us, you know what I mean? Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. All right, so traits updated. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, Where's uh, your shoes, bro? Kind of the big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. So sentimental, go with your gut. Cautious, give it some thought. Well, go with your gut, but give it some thought. You know what I mean? Just to be you safe. Sure you're ready? You never know. Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. What does that mean? Bearing updated? Hey! Mm, Julia, how you doing? So excited or exceeded? Reckless? Conrad? Full hardy? <laughs> Julia's brother? And I remember what the other ones. Damn, girl. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. Hey, Conrad. Connie. Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Hmm. Yeah, uh, likewise. Mm. Smart. Hey, man. Want to crack the colon with me? Every second. Fuck yeah, I do. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Uh, I get seasick. Yeah, cool. All right, let's be relaxed. Uh, let's let's be relaxed. Yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. No, you don't. Relationship updated. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like Radical. Your ship. Mm. Uh, it's Jib. Don't ruin it. Yeah, don't be smart you with them. Did you ever do any diving before? Uh, all the time? Never. Uh, we should probably be... Never. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, Heck yeah. I'm gonna pop your cherry together. Ooh, that's my boy right there. Uh... <laughs> and now here's the girl that owns the boat. Conrad's the about to bucket skipper anyhow. fall in love. So Fliss, impatient, captain of the Duke of Milan, and courageous. No one wears shoes around here. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but... Uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Why you seeming snappy, girl? Uh, you're selling. I'm buying. Damn, she really just did him like that. Drop the beer. To waste a cold brew. So, like I said, this game does start off pretty slow in the beginning. I found out. So. Um, what are we fishing for? And he's throwing up. I don't know how anybody can get seasick. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Dude, laying down is probably the worst thing you do when you're on a boat and you're going like that. Oh, man. Don't mess with your head a little bit. I don't think I've ever thrown up from seasick, though. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Uh, frustrated Brad was so sure uh, Brad did his homework. I'll be optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. 
I think I remember we do find a plane crash. What you got? But it's got like a nuke in the bottom of it or something. I don't remember. Your eyes on this. Yeah. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Cliff, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh, I think we should have. Can't dive, who cares? Oh! Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Just can't wait to be the first one down there. I think we're going on anyway. I was just trying to play safe. I'm trying to do anything safe, as safe as I can. I don't trust it, man. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. All right. So finally, we're doing something. Hey. 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 All right, we're just going to go check on our bro. We're not going to waste any more time. Oh, oh, hold on. There we go. Go down there. Where you at, Bradical? What's he in here? That's a big boat. Holy cow. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Uh, You should know better. Uh, Don't worry. Let's just, you know, don't worry. Hey. At least you tried. All part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. More than that, just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. I wouldn't be down there though, honestly. I'd be outside in the fresh air. Sorry, right, so Bradical's feeling all right now. Or well, okay anyway. He looks pretty good. Could look at that picture right there, but I'm not going to. Just to see if uh homeboy found anything on the dive cam real quick. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Oh. Okay, yep, there it is. So this is the plane that we're going to be going through, I guess. World War II. I guess there's nothing really else to look at on here. Alright, so the rest is just the ocean floor stuff. Let's go see how our girl's doing. Come on. Where's the A? Come on. Get it. Come on. What the? Where you at? I forgot how to run fast. <laughs> I think it was left trigger. Uh, I need a hand. Uh, thanks for paying. No, I need a hand. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Uh, supportive... Uh, pay it, uh, play it cool for now. Make it a fortune on this trip. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. Yeah, please don't. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps. Together. Honestly, the last cool. thing we need is for everybody Solid to start fighting. Ready. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys got to respect that. Uh, we paid a lot for this. Uh, sorry about earlier. Let's just be polite. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. I yeah, tried little... to pick the safe way. We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Uh, a lot. Enough to know the rules. Dived a couple racks. Enough. That's not an amount. Enough to know the rules. I don't think you do. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. I get it. How much? Uh, who's gonna know? Mm -hmm. Come on. 
You see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. You got it. Dang. She's really uptight about this whole thing. Are you done with those breathers yet? Because I'm trying to get down in the water, man. Maybe I'm almost done with these. You're cool. almost done with them. What else do you want me to look at? We checked on Bradical. We checked on everything we possibly could. There was something in the front right here. But let's check hey guys, what this thing is. Tanks are ready. All right, never mind. Tanks are ready. I don't tanks care. Weather. We're diving. We're diving. Come on. Come on. Get. Come on. Quick cock blocky. Get out the way. Let's go. Okay. So this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. Oh, two. It's like a done. space suit. You know what spaceman walk when they're using the moon on the moon and shit? Whoa, 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 eager beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Oh, uh, thanks for setting me straight. Looking good? Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Bliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Hey, you gotta have a knife. I respect that one. Looking for a first mate. So take, take. Uh, I'm taking this thing, whatever this is. What the heck is this? I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Mm. You ever have to use one? Good to go. On a shark? Nope. Just remember the rules, please. Let's take the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Hey, little GoPro action. What are you looking at? Oh, man, we're about to dive now. Come on, man. Just get down there. Give me the action. Like I said, guys, this game is slow as fuck in the beginning. Good thing I got that Chip, baton. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Uh-oh, it's getting dark out now. How long have they been down there? Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? Oh, you my nose. are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh into your cabin, boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Uh, pass. I need to focus. Sure, why not? Mm, yeah, let's let her relax a little bit. Sure, why not? She needs to relax a little bit. You know what I mean? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Uh, self so sure Don't ask a lady about her money. It's a long story. It's a long story. It's a long story. Whoops. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Um, resentful. That's very kind of you. Appreciative. I build this business from scratch. Mm. I built this business from scratch. I took out a loan on my boat, and that's all the help I need. Thanks. 
Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. I don't know if we should have taken her, his uh, offer or whatever. Oh, God. The trade's updated. So now we're playing as Fliss. Hey there. How's it hanging? Uh, Stern, you can monitor the dive or take advantage of the relaxation time. You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. Uh, curious, so are you beached? I'm serious. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? Um, I'm used to reminding, I have to keep track of the dive, but... I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> oh, God. Well, what was blinking over here? Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Mm, maybe later, if you stay on my good side. Dang. Let's go down below. Go see how the uh, young man's doing, I guess. I don't know. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Uh, hey, it's your vacation. Go easy on the booze. Eh. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Um, what do you know? Uh, hope they know what they're doing. Uh, let's be concerned a little bit. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Uh, what other dives? Um, let's be curious. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Yep. Oh, God. Yep. What's that about? Uh, fishing boat from the looks of it. Oh, uh, that's not the Coast Guard. Fishing boat from the looks of it. How should we handle this? Uh, this feels off. Be quiet and let me handle it. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? How do you not see that thing right there? And like, oh, uh, we got divers in the water. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. It's a big ass boat. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. Don't right, do that. You guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Oh, man, we really he really pissed them off. About time, man. God damn. So there's the plane. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Cockney. Bro, screw that. Mm -mm. The turret. We can get in through there. I would not go in that.
Fuck that sharp. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first. All right. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh. Okay, so she has like a panic attack or something like that. That's not good. They did say we can find clues and stuff inside of the, uh, it's like a torpedo thing. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Uh, maybe it's kind of dangerous. Live a little? Nah. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Nope. I think in the demo I did go in there and do it, but I'm not doing it right now. What's that, bullet? It's a big bullet from a plane. So a secret bullet found. Holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. As long as there's no like ghost or anything in here. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Okay. I think we find something in the front of the plane or something like that. I don't remember. I, th I think the plane falls apart, oh, actually. God. I mean, it's not as bad as it being fresh, you know what I mean? They need to make a game where we can go down to the Titanic. So got a little, what's it called? Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. Okay. Oh, the controls are kind of weird in this. I'm not going to Let's open that door. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Zap! <laughs> Bearing updated. Oh man, I grabbed that gun. That's a souvenir if I've ever seen one. Whoa, fuck! God, fucking eels. I hate that shit. Life gives you lemons. Oh. Grab that gun. Pilot and co-pilot. It's probably all Copy. messed up, but it could be fixed. Be repaired. Crash not high on my list of ways to perish. So here is the. Oh, we should. Now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no! Don't touch it. I'm not touching it. Nope. Let's just move along. And we're probably going to have to touch it, right? Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! I think we had to do that. Alright, so I guess we're going back up to the surface now. And the boat yanked its chain. We well, the front parts came off. Now. Go, it's open. I'd get out of there. <gasps> oh, God, Alex. What? What are you looking at? Reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I thought it was, actually. Just go up nice and slow. Take your time. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Bearing I, uh, updated. 
What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. Uh, you're kind of distracted. Has something to raise? It's on your brain, buddy. Nothing. Nothing. Just kind of shaken up by a little brush with a gruesome and meaningless death. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Jeez, Alex. Uh, seriously, what's going on? Um. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We really got to get up top. Yeah, you really do. Cliff, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa. Oh, damn. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. We, we have to I think that's Conrad freaking stoking his grill. Damn it, yeah, okay. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. He just stoked in that grill. Uh let's just go. Okay, I'm going. Yeah, it's only him doing the grill. Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Oh, uh, what's up with that other boat? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is... What'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. Yeah, that is perfect, huh? Here we go with this guy again. How does how's it going? Come on, spit it to me. You're gonna giggle. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Yep. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Yeah, somewhat. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may... Regret.